I'm gonna give you guys just a quick tour of Evelyn's room. If you guys saw my cleaning and organizing her room, you would have already saw it, but I had someone ask if I could do a tour. So the people that don't know, Nash and Lachlan, this is usually like the nursery. And when we found out we were having a girl, I decided to paint that side gray. And then this is Evelyn. This was Evelyn's side. And then if you turn this way, this is where the twins were. But now it's just Evelyn's room. So now I need to um, paint that over. But for right now, this is just Evelyn's room. Um, I have this stuff off to the side. It's like scrap stuff or scrapbook and stuff for them to play with but that I have to figure out what I'm going to do with yet but this is oh yeah see and I still have Batman stuff right there and uh on that side but then that is what her changing table looks like my oldest daughter Victoria made these with um pictures and Maj Paj what okay hold on all right so I have like trains and stuff up there, puzzles up there, um, blocks and cars and like um, little people stuff in there. And then over here we got more puzzles. This is kind of like where I put our diapers. We got other learning stuff in there. And then up there is where we store like the sheets and stuff. But we need to um, fix this thing like this. We have to fix it up there because we're kind of short and we keep pulling ourselves up there to do that so yeah um and then so oh and then up here in the cabinet this is where we put our diapers um i never refinish this so when i do her old room over i'll refinish this and then i'll get different uh doorknobs for that so my dad made that for when we needed when we had started having babies and that's where we put our diapers and wipes um, and then as for her crib, which I need to paint a little bit, but I had my husband lower that, take the rail off, and then just give her a little bit of space so she don't roll off. But she sleeps with us anyway, so maybe someday. But um, this is what that looks like. And then on this side, they have their little kitchen area and all their food and stuff. And then this we got from his sister and I refinished it. Um, and this is what I did. And she's got her baby stuff in there, hair stuff, and her sheets. But that's what that looks like. And then I also read, did this dresser, and then I did that on the inside. So that's a little tour of Evelyn's room. What? What do you see? You want stuff up there? Uh, your clock? Yeah. Here. Okay. All right. So that is Evelyn's room. This is the bathroom that we have downstairs. And then we have little cabinets and stuff over here. And that's what that looks like. And I don't usually do a lot over there, but I did take everything down from Christmas. So I do have stuff that I usually put there. And then that's what we have on the wall. And this is how we have this part set up. And Evelyn's in here. Um, and then just like a towel thing. And that's what our cabinet looks like. And our shower area, that curtain. And then back here is like shelving and stuff. So we have our stuff back there. And I did these curtains because I wanted something different than what they had at the store so i made them and that's about it so we have a tiny bathroom downstairs and then we have an extra toilet and stuff upstairs for the boys um, but we only have the one shower for everybody but luckily i only have a lot of boys in the house otherwise we would never get in the shower and then if i bring you up the stairs we still have to do some finishing up here. Okay, so this is the upstairs bathroom. We, okay, so that's back here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the upstairs bathroom. We still have to finish the drywall. We have to finish the drywall in the hair cutting room. We also have a bathtub in there that needs to be refinished. Um, this stuff just never got done because when I moved in, 
we started having kids and then kids took over and that kind of thing. So we might be using that dresser. I'm not sure from us doing Gage and Eli's room and the other kids room, we need to pull that out, but this is their room and then the little kids room. So that's upstairs and then that's looking down from upstairs. So that's what that looks so, like. So this is like the front view of our garage and this is what this part looks like i'm not gonna go all the way around just because it's freezing outside right now but i'll just show you like so that is the side view of that and then we have the backyard where like the kids play and stuff and i can show you that in a minute and then our goats if you can kind of hear them in the background so our goats and everything are down there and our chickens are down there. So that's kind of a view. And then our tree line goes all the way back. And then we have our vehicles and then we have property up to them, trees about over there. And then that's a view. Sorry, we got a bunch of toys and stuff. And then this is our front door. And then when you walk in this is what this part looks like so inside of the garage this is our living part and then in that door over there is our actual garage where we store all our stuff and different things so this right here is our living room um, we have a platform right here don't mind that over there i'm going through toys right now so we have that and our furniture, most of our, well, these two are from, um, where did I get our furniture from? Do you remember? Oh, Wayfair, Wayfair. We got them from, and then that's our front window. And you can see our chicken coop and stuff that I showed you before and our goat coop and everything are over there. This is our bathroom and I showed you what our bathroom looks like, Evelyn's. Just taking a drink and then so when you come in this is what it looks like and then our upstairs is right there and i showed you the kids bedroom so that's gage and eli's that's nash and lachlan's declan's hudson's and miles's bedroom and this is our kitchen if you guys are new we never had this table this table is from our church in our conference room these chairs are from um, like a local clinic that we bring our kids to and they were getting rid of chairs So I'm actually gonna tear these apart and upholster them and we're gonna be doing black with that I already have the fabric. I just have to take the time, but I will do a video on me doing that um, When if you guys saw some of my old videos, we had a little table like I don't know retro 70s or something table right here and we we were just laughing yesterday on how we couldn't imagine like sitting back on that table just because of how big this table is. We have all the leaves in this table and we can add extra chairs when my other children come home and visit and grandchildren or whatever, we have extra room. So that's what that looks like. Um, I showed you Evelyn's room and that's Evelyn's room. This is our school area. Before we used to have uh, like, okay, so that, cubicle thing right there we used to have right here um, but Lauren made this for me so that we could have it off to the side all in one area so that I like um, we store all other stuff that's homeschool related in there and then we have our bulletin board so if I back up a little bit that is in our kitchen and then we have our fridge. This is our laundry room. We have just one washer and dryer. Uh, Lauren has one out in the garage for his clothes, but this is kind of like our utility uh, area that we put things. Uh, we don't have a lot of storage, so we have to store things wherever possible just because we don't have us living in a garage. We don't have a basement or anything, but this is what this looks like we have a very small laundry room um and then that's right out of the kitchen right there so 
our coffee area. Um, and then this is the backyard, like I was saying. So everything back there, um, they have the swing sets and stuff back there to play on. And then we have like a little porch area. Um, we have our stove, pizza oven, that little corner that I always do my air fryer videos on. I don't have, like this is all straight because this cabinet over here used to go at an L shape and when we had our little table, but then after we got our big table, we needed to take that piece down and lay down some tile, but maybe I'll like do a little clip on that with us doing the tile. And then we had to put a new sink in. Um, this I kind of found somewhere and like on the side of the road somewhere and I liked it. So we ended up putting that in because our other sink went bad. Um, so now we have this straight countertop, but when I do videos for cooking, I don't really have an island here to do a straight on video. So that's why I always do my corner ones. Um, and then we have the cabinets up here. A lot of this stuff is going to be repainted and redone. Um, we still have to finish doing part of this because that needs to be refinished. This is going to stay open, but we still have to paint. We have a lot of things that are getting like we're slowly fixing and updating um, as we kind of adjust to changing things out or whatever. Um, but that's what that looks like. And then when my older two moved in, we built this addition so they could be up there, but they no longer live here. Um, and mainly we just have that right there. And we just have that little thing right there. And then for my, for the living room, we have two TVs because we have a lot of boys and a lot of games and stuff like that. We also have a game table here for the older kids and then we store all their stuff back over there. And then my picture wall. So this is a little tour of our bedroom. Okay, so this bench right here I got from Goodwill. I re-upholstered it to make it, um, fit like what we have going on in our bedroom. So we have a lot of like browns and blacks. And then um, you can kind of tell we have the coral color. Lauren, when he built the place, he already had this color and I liked it so we just kept it. And then he always had that picture and I just went to Hobby Lobby and got mirrors like that. Um, that is Lauren's side so he keeps um, his stuff over there and then he always had these little end tables with glass on top and then on my side i actually had to kind of go through some of this stuff because i had all my beads and stuff for my etsy account and all my necklaces i have everything kind of back here like i store everything in there and then my shipping labels and uh, envelopes and stuff i put over there I also keep a lot of my air fryer um, like plates and different things down there because I don't want anybody cooking and using with that. So I kind of keep them in my room. And then I have this little setup here. Most of this stuff is either from Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx. I think this is TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, and Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I have stuff down here because I have Evelyn's birthday coming up. It is going to be, she's going to turn three and it's her golden birthday. So we are going to do rose gold colors. I got a lot of pinks and golds and then Valentine's is coming up. So I have to kind of keep things in here because we don't have storage anywhere else. Um, the headboard Lauren helped me make and I upholstered. The headboard and that's what that looks I had to go close otherwise you can't kind of see like the texture of the material so that's what that looks like I made the pillows out of the same stuff and then I found that cover and I stuffed it um, at Hobby Lobby so I got that and what else so this is pretty much the setup to our room I have my sewing table right there I made the curtains for in here and then I got shelving and stuff and I stained the shelving to make that look right, good right there. 
Uh, my daughter gave me that mask. I used to collect them, but she found one and she gave me that, so I put that there because everything matches with that. Um, my husband is an electrician and he found this at Hobby Lobby and we thought that would be cute to put there. Um, as for them little wires up there, um, we have really tall ceilings, so we were gonna cut this room in half and make a school room upstairs. But we're kind of at that point of really not needing to do that anymore because by the time we get it done, I don't, the kids will probably be done. So I don't, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that, but we are able to add on and do more because of how high our ceilings are. So this is like one of the rooms that we never finished the flooring and we have a drain in here. We have a bunch of drains throughout the place because it is a garage, but we made it, or he kind of started making it into like a living quarters. This is this side of the room. I have my sewing table and stuff over there, and this never got finished, but it was almost like that's okay because if we did do the bedroom up on top, um, it would have got ruined anyways. Up there, oh, I have something hanging out of there right now um up there is our storage area we have like a little attic up there that we put our stuff that's our only storage area in our house and then um i'm laughing just because sometimes we have to get a ladder to get up there but anyways so we put all the extra kid clothes that's why it's hanging there we have all the kid clothes and different stuff up there that, and like baby clothes and you know things that we put in and out so Anyways, that is my little office desk whenever I'm able to use it. Um, I'm not using it as much as I wanted it to. I got this desk at, um, or on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, and she already had it painted and finished. And I don't know, one of my kids put a rubber band on there, but it has little pink flowers and stuff on there. So I thought that was really cute. So we got that on there. And then as, for this one, we also got this off of Facebook, I think Marketplace for that one. Um, and then, um, oh yeah, as for like the chair and stuff, this is what she had on the chair to go with uh, the theme of her dresser. So that is really cute. Uh, a lady friend of mine made me this sign. It says 10 kids in a garage. I love it. Um, and then I have all my soaps and stuff in here for my Etsy account. And then I just hang my jackets and stuff. I have a lot of like sewing stuff in here. So I put all my um, like cliche stuff in there. So just so I can keep it all in one spot. I do a lot of like baby blankets and uh, crocheted hats and stuff for the kids. So that's pretty much that over there. But yeah, see like this side, if we maybe put a like a permanent ladder right there or something, then it might be easier to do. Example of how high our ceilings. So Lauren always went, before I moved in, like would put blank, um, sorry, put, uh, I can't even think, like his bike and stuff up there. And then this is up there. We need to get that down eventually. But this is how tall our ceilings are. So they're pretty tall. I think they're like, I think we always said they were like 14 feet, 14 feet, I think. So that is pretty much our bedroom. Um, and then the dresser and stuff over there. And then we have our TV and stuff over there. Oh, and me and Lauren, love Batman. If you guys didn't see Evelyn's um, organizing room, if I remember, I'll leave it up above and you guys can check it out. Half her bedroom is Batman for the twins. Oh, actually in this video, you'll probably see that also. Me and Lauren have always loved Batman. So we started our own little collection up here. Um, and then I liked Batman before when I was little and then he always liked Batman. So it was just kind of funny that we both like Batman. Um, and then we have our date night little money thing here. Um, tell my husband he needs to fill this. Okay, so that, I think he got that at Hobby Lobby too. So that's kind of cute. But that is pretty much it for 
our bedroom. Maybe one day we can finish our flooring and put some tile down. I don't really want carpet in our room just because of how like it just collects dust and yuckies and we have uh, allergies in our family so I don't want to do that. Um, but I'd rather just keep it clean. I would love to do something with it though eventually. Um, but we've been here for, he's been here for about like 20, 30 years. And I've been here for 18 to 19 years. So that is, that's our bedroom. So hopefully you like, um, like how we have it set up. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can share with you guys about the bedroom. Lauren always had that dresser, so I kind of took over the dresser. I kind of took up over the room, but as for in my closet, I have all my shoes, my clothing, and then a lot of my sewing stuff and material are in there just because I have my sewing table right there. I have some extra sewing or sewing machines down there because when everybody needed mask, we were like doing a lot of mask and my sewing machine broke. So I need to bring that in. And then I have my cute little new one. So I used to do my makeup here. That's why I have my mirror there. And now I just do it in the bathroom, but that's pretty much it. And then I got some of that stuff at Goodwill to decorate up there. And then eventually we can maybe finish the closet and stuff like that. And then here's just a little glimpse of like our outside area. And I kind of showed you that in the beginning of the video. So that's that's that for now. Um, so, oh, and we've been using, I had a different diffuser in here the other day, but it wasn't working. So I just put that one. I think that one I got on Amazon, but otherwise I have um, my Young Living ones that I use. So that's pretty much it for, here's, an, here's another view. It's pretty much it for our bedroom. So hopefully you guys like that. So I noticed that when I was doing the, uh, showing you guys around or whatever that I didn't kind of finish the video so I just want to say hopefully you guys like that if you guys want to see anything else or have questions about anything else that we do like with our homeschooling and stuff I think pretty soon I will be doing a homeschool collab with somebody we got some stuff going on with that and I'm not sure when that's gonna be but I just um talk to somebody about that so hopefully that'll be pretty soon and then we have some other stuff coming up and then um but hopefully you guys just like that little tour of our house so see you in the next time all right so i just wanted to finish up this video and just um say hopefully you guys liked it uh, if you guys have any other questions or anything, just leave them down in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next